the end of the 4th century AD. The deacon John Chrysostom admonishes the Christians of Antioch. What should one say about those people who use magic charms and amulets and carry bronze coins of Alexander the Macedonian around their heads and on their feet? These are years of conflict between Christianity and paganism, when Christians, once persecuted, become persecutors. Decrees issued by the Christian Emperor Theodosius I stop the last expressions of Hellenistic and Roman religion by closing Roman temples, banning blood sacrifices, and prohibiting any form of pagan cult. Tokens help us to understand the transformation of Roman society at this period. Contrary to written histories which tell of a religious war, tokens highlight religious coexistence in the late Roman world. Of particular interest are the Asina tokens produced around the reign of Honorius. On their obverses are portraits of Alexander the Great or the Roman Emperor, while on the reverse the tokens carry images of Hercules Minerva, a central fighting a hero, or even a sex scene. These Asina tokens, named for the donkey cycling a fall depicted on some pieces. The image is accompanied by the Christian legend Dominus Noster Jesus Christus Dei Filius. Why would Christian and pagan imagery feature on the same object? According to Andras Alfeldi, the donkey might be a satirical allusion to Jesus, who was mocked by pagans as a god with a donkey's head. By this interpretation, the Asina tokens should be considered as anti-Christian medals, part of pagan propaganda under the Emperor Honorius. But was this really the case? Other late antique tokens, like the so-called Festival of Isis coinage and the Contorniates, carry pagan iconography and were used in the late Roman world in despite repressive measures by the Christian Empire. These objects and the combination of Greco-Roman and Christian features on the Asina tokens reveal that relations between pagans and Christians in late antiquity were complex. Religious groups may have come into conflict and competition, but they also, above all, coexisted.